dark just got hit. Second cast. Pretty sure it ate it. It's gonna be a Walter, I think. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Nice Wally. Heck yeah. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but that is a good one. You guys even see that? Second cast, quick measurement. Oh, he's not that long actually. 18 to 19. Here we go with the release. Might be more down there, might be bigger ones down there. See you, Walter. Go on. All right, quick start, that's two casts. Maybe there's a bunch of walleye down there. Nice smack from that 18 to 19 inch walleye. They've been hitting it hard when I've been getting them. Orange pulser, I don't know if you guys can see anything at all. It's still dark out, but. That seems like that could be a good sign. It wasn't the first cast. First cast would have been a jinx. Second cast is a good sign. Got another one. Oh crap, I felt him hit it too. I felt him on the fall just like the other one. Pulled my pants down. Dog on it. Did not feel that big, but it was the same kind of deal. Lifted it, let it fall, and I felt them thump it on the fall. That's two casts in a row we've gotten bit. That was probably another walleye. Maybe there's a Bertha down there. The water is getting towards the high 40s, I think. Perfect time for these wallies to be thinking about spawning. Starting to rain a little bit. Just feels like a fishy morning. Another one. That felt like a walleye. I'd say similar size to the other one, maybe. Not a little smaller. Now he's a lot smaller, actually. 14, 15 inch. Walters are going this morning, folks the third one we've had on. I'm confident that other one that pulled my pants down, pulled my plastic down, was also a walleye. Maybe should have kept these, but... Just got to cross paths with a big one now. Orange pulser, I got the top pinched off, so it's like about half of, the, uh, half of a three inch pulser. Make it smaller and also make it... Uh, this one had worn out, so I when, I when they wear out, I pinch off the top and get a little extra use out of it, and that's what I'm doing. It is raining, but when the walleye don't, are biting, we just don't care. I haven't really tried out over here. Usually over here, this eddy over here is usually pretty good. I haven't even tried that yet. I've been getting bites over here along this other eddy, just off to the right of it. So I'm kind of focusing my attack over there right now, but we'll get over there, I think. Pretty crazy. Three out of my first, I'd say, 10 casts or so. I got bit. Now I can't get anything. Fan casting all over this place, not getting anything. Never mind. <laughs> I felt him hit it on the way down. Oh, this is a white bass. Or is it? Nope, walleye. They're getting smaller, actually. It's about a 13 inch or so. We'll take him. I was just talking about how it's been a long lull and then I got one. Open up, bud. There we go. Little guy. Just as I was saying that, I felt a thump. And there he was. All right, so we got into them for a little bit, but it slowed down once the light came out. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna come earlier. Seemed like maybe they were biting more in the dark than when it got light. So, all right, until tomorrow, see ya. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to interrupt this video very quickly. We'll get back to it real shortly. I just wanted to announce that I'm gonna be dropping some new merch that you can pick up. 
So I made four different designs. This first drop is kind of geared towards hybrids, wipers, uh, white bass. If you like fishing for those types of fish, I think you're gonna really like this merch drop. In the future, every few months, I'll probably try to add new designs to the merch shop so you can, for people who like spillway fishing or creek fishing or whatever. I'm gonna run through how you can order some of this merch right now, and then we'll get back to the video, okay? So when you're watching my videos, you can scroll down below the video player and you can see some items from my spread shop. You can click on that. If you see an item you like, it, it'll take you to the spread shop and you can see that item. If you look down below, you can see other similar items with a similar design. But importantly, I want to remind you that I have four different designs. So if you don't like this design, you might want to try and look for others. So what you can do is you can go above the items and you can see, I want to look for men's stuff. So you can look under men's and choose all. And that shows you all the different designs that I have. So probably my favorite is this, this hybrid design. If you want to buy a hoodie, it's, we've got lots of different colors. You can also buy some t-shirts and stickers and all sorts of stuff that has this design on it if you like it. So we've also got this Backroads Angling Wiper that has Backroads Angling written in the stripes. Another design we have is this Double Digit Club. It kind of commemorates a big achievement for any wiper or hybrid fisherman catching that 10 pounder. Uh, another one we have is this one that says earn your stripes above and below the Backroads Angling Wiper. Another thing I really like is the stickers. You can get stickers, put them on your car, whatever. I personally bought a whole bunch of these double digit club stickers, and I'm gonna put one on the back of my truck every time I catch a double digit wiper. Okay, so this is important. So up until April 15th, so I activated my account on April 11th. So that's already been two days. You only have until April 15th to get free shipping. So they did give me 25% off of everything up until April 25th. I went ahead and ordered myself a huge box of merch. So I think I did, th I got three t-shirts, two hoodies, I got two hats, and a bunch of stickers for like a hundred bucks. So it's it's really cheap right now with 25% off and also free shipping. So, all right, everybody, thanks for paying attention to my little spiel. Let's get back to the fishing. All right, here we are once again. Power plant spillway. Targeting walleyes and maybe some striped fish. We'll see. Whatever wants to bite is welcome on the end of my line, that's for sure. Oh, first cast, I hooked something big. Must be some rough fish in there. Definitely wasn't the walleye that we're looking for. I doubt it was the wiper. I usually don't catch the wipers in the dark, but at least not in the mouth. Could have been a snagged wiper, but I don't, it didn't feel like that. I think it was a rough fish snagged. There's one, that guy hit it. Felt him hit it. Could be good, there's a bunch of fish up there. Doesn't feel very big. I think it might be a white bass if I had to guess. Nope, drum. That's why I felt him hit it so hard. Drum in the dark. Didn't know they'd be that active this time of day, but there they are. Drum have that very distinct hit. I would say they're one of the hardest hitters in the fish, freshwater fish kingdom. They really let you know they're on there. <clears throat> well, no skunk. I'm just bouncing off something in there. Hopefully there's a Walter down there. There's another fish. This is a bigger fish. I felt, I think I felt him hit it too. This could be crazy. Could be crazy. Is it another drum? Felt him smack it, but he's bigger. Hopefully it's that walleye we want. Not a bad fish here.
Yeah, he's got head shakes. He's, he's hooked in the mouth. Stay on, please. Hopefully it's that big donkey walleye. Good head shakes. I think we might be on a hot bite here, folks. Oh, he's going around the corner. Shoot, take him over here. Come on, be a big walleye. This is a walleye, it's a real nice fish. There he is. It's gonna be a drum, isn't it? Shoot. Big drum. Doggone it. I'm excited, that's a nice drum, but shoot, man. Oh my gosh. Biggest drum I've caught in a long time. Doggone it, that's a big one. Wow, that's a tank drum. I guess we'll take a picture of you, dude. Big old Slimer. Here we go. Two out of the first three casts have ended with a nice drum. That's probably about a six or seven pounder, I think. Real tanky fish. Hopefully there's something else up under there besides these guys, but we'll take it. All right, I gotta get back in there. Maybe there's something else besides just drum in there. We're on a hot nighttime drum bite. That is not what we came for. Don't get me wrong, I like catching a drum, I like the action, but. <clears throat> All right, moving over here. Another fish hit me. Nope, snagged him. Huge gizzard shad, absolutely huge. These things have been a problem. And snagging them left and right. Everyone smacked it. Probably saw my rod move. I'm gonna guess the drum, based on what we've already seen. Yeah, there's some drum in here. They are stacked. Well, we're catching anyway. Gotta be something in here besides the drum, doesn't there? Another one, doggone it. That's gonna be another drum, feels very similar. Throw me a walleye here, throw me a little bit of a bone. We're coming out early. Another drum. Drummer stacked. Can't complain, the last few days have been pretty slow here, so. Sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Man, it started off so hot, that was crazy. There's a fish. Oh. Oh, what do we have here? Loosen the drag a little. Could be a wiper? Oh no, he might have got me in something. I'm rubbing on something. Oh no, he got me in something. Oh, gone it. He peeled drag and then he got me in something. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. Oh, he broke off, shoot. That was a wiper or a, a really big white bass. Really unlucky that he took me into something. He rubbed real bad on something up under there. Darn it. Has been more eventful than some of my past trips, recent trips here. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. There's a snag right there. And I gotta get a, an angle maybe over here a little more so I can maybe keep them out of it. He got in that current and took me right into it. Prime time, folks, prime time. Wiper, walleye, drum, musky, probably all in here. Oh, there's a fish. Let's keep him out of the stuff. Did we snag him? That's the question. I'm guessing this is a snagged fish. But he's getting bigger. Snag shad. Gotta be. Yeah, doggone it. Yep, or maybe a uh, something else, or some sort of red horse. Yep. Lots of different kinds of things like this in here. There we go. Okay, everybody, I'm back at the spillway of dreams. Fish on. Very early in the morning for a fish. I think I know what it might be. It's a walleye. The walleye's in here. Not a bad one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it popped off right here. There we go. Nice chunky looking one. Probably about 16 inches. Man, perfect eating size right there. Let's get a picture. Nice little walleye this morning. Okay. I think I'm gonna put this guy back even though he looks pretty yummy. There he goes. That guy was a perfect little 16 inch eater. I haven't kept a walleye yet this year. I usually don't just cause I feel like every single person that catches a walleye in here keeps it and so it's like, I don't know, my way of counteracting a high level of harvesting, but I'm not against keeping them. It's just kind of like doing something outside the norm sometimes. Got something up under the waterfall, folks. Felt them hit it. Feeling his head shakes. He was way up there. Lost a nice fish already. Let's see if we can get this one. Pretty good fish here. Try not to lose him like I had the last couple. This might be a wiper. It's kind of acting wiper like now. It's a little sluggish at first, but. Yeah, this, this is the wiper, it's gotta be. Gotta be a wiper. Already lost a nice one. He was way up under the waterfall. He's in an orange pulser. Yeah, this is a wiper. Orange pulser, 3 8 ounce jig head. 20 pound braid, 20 pound flora leader. And we got a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what that, that means. Really want to see him though. I got my drag kind of turned down. It might be a really big one. I don't know folks, I'm starting to think this is a big one. At first I didn't, I thought it was a, a walleye he was fighting so sluggish, but the way he's staying down, it might be a big fish. I think I see in my leader right there. Just can't rush him at this point. Uh, 
Just want to get a look at you. Got to go easy on him. Just about to see him. And then he's going to take off again. Don't rush him. Don't rush him. Got some calm water here to work with. This is a good spot to land him right here. Oh my gosh, he won't give up. Oh no! He popped loose. Oh no. Wow, well, I don't I don't know how to I don't know what I could have done differently there. Just shaking. Could not get him to give up. Doggone it, folks. Dang it. That was a huge fish. Huge one. Wow. Saw those stripes right at the end. It was definitely, I mean, there's definitely a wiper with the, the fight and everything, but. Doggone it. 